Cardiff, Wales, when it was over, when the referee blew his whistle and the crowd roared and Ukraine's dream of earning a place in this year's World Cup was gone, most of its national soccer team dropped straight to the grass. A few players held their heads in their hands. The rest simply stared off into space. The scoreboard confirmed what, in that moment, even the Ukrainians themselves could scarcely believe, Wales won, Ukraine 0. A World Cup qualifying journey laced with symbolism and spirit and national pride, an opportunity delayed three months by war with Russia and reaching its denouement on a day that had begun with explosions in Kyiv, the first direct air strikes on the capital in a month, had ended not in triumph but I. And for weeks, he and his teammates and their countrymen had treated every step of their war-delayed World Cup campaign as such, a chance to bring joy to a nation desperately in need of it, a chance to showcase their pride in their jerseys, in their flag, in themselves, a chance to keep their nation. Fueled by hundreds of daily messages from friends and family and frontline troops surging them forward, and backed by a few thousand fans from the growing Ukrainian diaspora who had come out to support them, the players had pushed past Scotland on Wednesday and Glasgow to arrive in Cardiff on Sunday W. How high was the drama? A group of soldiers recently sent the team a tangible token that they were all in it together, a Ukrainian flag signed by their comrades. It hung, again, in the team's dressing room Sunday. They make only one demand, midfielder Teres Stepanenko had told the Guardian of the messages he and his teammates had been receiving for weeks. Please do everything you can to go to the World Cup. But it is Wales, not Ukraine, that will be headed to Qatar in November, to a date with the United States in its opening game. 